We had a great time in Nevada. It was uh, really terrific. We had a uh, very special couple of hours. I think we're going to have a big success with Dean Heller, with Adam Laxall. Really a good time. Uh, any questions? Yeah. I'll be speaking to him soon, very soon, could be today, but I will be speaking to him. A lot of progress is being made. Uh, we'll have an answer by probably Tuesday or so. It may, and I'm going to work also with the Senate, with the House. Uh, we'll be working with Congress because, uh, you know, they're very involved, and I wanted to keep them involved, much as I did with Justice Kavanaugh. I wanted to keep them involved. I think it's important. Mr. President, do you have any no, we don't. Nobody seems to know. Somebody knows, but nobody uh, of the various investigation groups at this moment know, but we'll find out. Is that a concern that they haven't identified that? Uh, it's a concern. We'd like to find out where it is and what happened. And I think we're, we're inching our way there. And, uh, has anyone in the U.S. government heard audio or seen video from the company? No, we haven't. Mike Pompeo has not, Secretary of State. Uh, somebody came out with a false report. I think it was ABC. Uh, it was totally false. He has not seen that, has not heard that, and I would tell you if he had. So far, we've heard about it, but nobody's seen it. Not even at the CIA or NSA? Not that we know of. We have not gotten a transcript either. We've heard all about it. We're hearing about it just like you're hearing about it, probably from the same people. Uh, we have not seen it yet. It's possible. You don't know that, but it's possible. Uh, we've had a, a tremendously positive development with Mexico. I just want to say on behalf of the American public that we appreciate what Mexico is doing. Uh, they've really stepped up and uh, it will not be forgotten. We just signed our new trade deal with Mexico and with Canada, the US MCA. And uh, now I'm very happy that we signed it. I, I really appreciate. And they've had some people that were very badly injured, six people at least. And we really appreciate what Mexico has done on the border. We appreciate it. First time this has ever happened. And hopefully it's because they respect the leader of the United States, but they have never done that before. And I will tell you that I appreciate what Mexico has done. Mr. President, you said yesterday that it was a good first step for Trump and said, are you satisfied that some of them have been no, I'm not satisfied until we find the answer, but it was a, a big first step. It was a good first step, but I want to get to the answer. With all of that being said, though, we have $450 billion, 110 billion of which is a military order, but this is equipment and various things ordered from Saudi Arabia. $450 billion, I think it's over a million jobs. That's not helpful for us to cancel an order like that. That hurts us far more than it hurts them. For the military equipment, they go to China, they go to Russia, and they don't have great equipment like we do. Nobody does. But they can buy their equipment from other people. So that would hurt us far more than it would hurt them. But there are other things that can be done, including sanctions. So if it doesn't work out on the border, what I want the Democrats to do, the beautiful thing of what's happening is the Democrats are watching on television, in this case, probably better than reading it because you visually see what's going on at the border. And all of the Democrats that have made it impossible, they've obstructed and they've resisted. They've made it impossible to do anything because the immigration laws are so bad. And I could sit down with Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and in one hour, I could have an agreement done that would solve all of the things that you're watching that are so vicious and violent, where soldiers from Mexico are being injured badly by these, by people. And I could solve this in one hour with Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. But they don't want to, but I think now they do because I think it's a terrible political point for Democrats. I would call in the military and I would seal off the border. I would close up the border. If that happens and if that continues to move forward, the caravan we're talking about, which is, I think, a man-made caravan, if you want to know the truth. I think some bad people started that caravan. 
Uh, more importantly, or maybe almost as importantly, you have some very, very bad people in the caravan. You have some very tough criminal elements within the caravan. But I will seal off the border before they come into this country. And I'll bring out our military, not our reserves. I'll bring out our military. Mr. President, any response to uh, Vice, former Vice President Biden uh, here? He mentioned him on stage. You watched his, uh, his rally. Uh, he had some harsh words for you uh, earlier today. Now, look, Biden is a man that he, number one, he can't draw a crowd. He had almost no, you see what we have. And we had thousands of people that couldn't get into them, many thousands. Um, now, look, I wish Biden the best. You know, I hope he's going to be the nominee, actually. I mean, 1% Joe. I, I just hope they pick somebody good, somebody that's going to represent their interests. If it's Biden or Elizabeth Warren, I think she's been very badly damaged by what happened over the last couple of days. Or a man that ran Newark, New Jersey, into the ground. There are a lot of people, but uh, I don't see it yet. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anything else? Ambassador Bolton? I don't hear you. got to talk louder. Yeah, uh, Russia has violated the agreement. They've been violating it for many years, and I don't know why President Obama didn't negotiate or pull out. And we're not going to let them violate a nuclear agreement and go out and do weapons and we're not allowed to. We're the ones that have stayed in the agreement, and we've honored the agreement, but Russia has not, unfortunately, honored the agreement. So we're going to terminate the agreement. We're going to pull out. Is that the INF? Yeah, the INF. No, we'll have somebody great. Nikki is a friend of mine. She's going to work on the campaign. Uh, but she's been doing it for a long time. And uh, we're going to pick somebody very quickly. Would you prefer to be a woman? Say it. Would you prefer to be a woman? Uh, yes. Why? I'm going to pick the best person. I think it would be good. I think she's done an excellent job, great job. And I would, I would love to see, I, and I'll tell you, I'm interviewing three women and two men. We have five people, three women, two men. I think I might prefer that, but we'll see. Okay? More on tax. In what? With respect to what? With respect to tax legislation, the next piece. We are looking at putting in a very major tax cut for middle-income people, and if we do that, it'll be sometime just prior, I would say, to November. A major tax cut. We are going to be putting in, and are studying very deeply right now, round the clock, a major tax cut for middle-income people. Not for business at all, for middle-income people. Now, the last was for middle-income and for business, and our business is now coming back because, but we are looking at, at, Kevin Brady's working on it, Paul Ryan is working, we're all working on it. And we're looking at a major tax cut for middle-income people who need it. What was your time frame for that? I would say sometime around the 1st of November, maybe a little before then. If I follow up on the INF real quick, uh, you tend to terminate the agreement. Does that mean that you plan on developing those weapons and deploying them once yeah, again? We'll have to develop those weapons. Unless Russia comes to us and China comes to us and they all come to us and they say, let's really get smart and let's none of us develop those weapons. But if Russia's doing it and if China's doing it and we're adhering to the agreement, that's unacceptable. So we have a tremendous amount of money to play with on our military, 700 billion plus 716 billion. So Russia has not adhered to the agreement. So we are going to terminate the agreement and we are going to develop the weapons. If they get smart and if others get smart and they say, let's not develop these horrible nuclear weapons, I would be extremely happy with that. But as long as somebody's violating that agreement, then we're not going to be the only one to adhere to it. I think you understand. Okay? We'll see you on the plane. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.